If only you could see all the behind the scenes that go on to make this so much fun here at KCTS 9 Cooks. Another recipe we have for you, recently a, a brand new attraction that's getting a lot of attention at Seattle Center, is the Chihuly Garden and Glass. Uh, what a great place to visit with the whole family. And right in there is the Collections Cafe. In there, you will find Chef Ivan Sizlak, who's going to be here with us now to do gambas, which I'm looking at tiger prawns. So you've got my attention, my friend. Yes. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do today is we're, we're going to, this is a, uh, a Mediterranean type of uh, uh, dish, very Spanish in, in, in uh, influence. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some smoked paprika, garlic, uh, chili flakes, a little uh, Spanish sherry, uh, black, uh, black tiger prawns, like you said, mm -hmm. and then we're going to finish off with a little butter. Th there's so, nothing much here. I mean, look at this. That's it. No. And you're going to make something this great. This is a simple dish you can do at home, easy, and it's really quick. All right. All right. Set your timers. Here we go. Watch how fast this comes together. So we'll need some salt <laughs> and pepper. Okay. That. A little olive oil in here. Pepper. Here, I'll give you a fresh. You know, for those of you that do all the shrimping in Hood Canal, you know how big those prawns get, the big oh, shrimp. So this would be a good recipe. This, could we do it with the spot prawns? You can. I would think so. Uh, that would be one of my favorite things to do with this is spot prawns. Because yeah. you can also use the roe right. the spot prawns to make it even a brighter, more rich uh, flavor. So we get this pan, cool. pan pretty hot. You want to turn it up all the way? Yeah. To high? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going for high, fast. High, fast, okay. quick. Because uh, you don't want to cook them low and slow because prawns will get tough and chewy. Okay. okay. And you know, they're not as pretty to eat that right. way. Right. This we want high, high temperature. We're going to sear one side. Okay. As soon as we turn them over, we're going hit it, to hit it with these three ingredients, the garlic, the paprika, oh, and the chili flake, nice. which will okay. burn very quickly if we're not careful. So then you need to have it ready, and then you go to exactly. the bread. Exactly. Got it. So, okay. And you peeled these? I peeled these at the restaurant. Okay. So after I get these in the pan, if you want to move these three, uh, these four ingredients right here over, we'll uh, get going. Nice. So Beautiful. Be, uh, well, maybe a little hotter, but we'll go with it. I don't know, full tilt here. Oh, now we got it. So let that go, and as soon as we get those seared on one side, we'll start to, we'll add all the other ingredients. But what we can do right now is we can get the bread going. If you want to hand me the olive oil again. You got it. Coming in, incoming. A little bit of olive oil on the bread. Oh, rather than in the pan, throw it on the bread. Yep. Okay, and salt this and I know is hot. Yep. There. A little salt and pepper on this also. Any choice bread here, Chef? Uh, this is actually bread from Macrina Bakery okay. here in town. So it's actually one of my favorite bakeries. So get those going. So if we're having a barbecue this summer, we we'll just set up the shrimp and just saute them out on the grill in a Absolutely. pan and then go ahead and grill the bread. Absolutely. Build it that so way. Okay. All on the grill. So watch that go. See if we can get some grill marks going there. These guys are starting to curl, so we'll turn them over. Oh, okay. So as soon as they start to curl, you want to turn them over. Okay. And uh, this is, over there. there we go. So now we're going to hit it with the, the delicate ingredients. Right. So hot pan, we'll scorch the garlic and all that other stuff really quickly. So drop so the heat down a little drop bit. Drop the heat down. We'll add the garlic, okay. quite a bit of paprika. Okay. And do you use the Spanish smoke? Sp this is Spanish smoked paprika. Okay. A little bit of chili flakes. Get then that going. Gambas, huh? Yep. So you smell that. It's all coming through. It smells awesome. Hit it with the sherry. Okay. Let that come through. And be careful because this will ignite. Sherry is. It, seriously, it will. Yep. If you want to turn it back up a little bit, we'll bring it down all the way. Look at that. We are getting some grill marks here. Yeah. Nice. So could you broil the bread? You could. Okay. You could. It's just something to get. Crispy, something to, to soak up sauce. Got it. More than anything else. Well, and the toasting's so nice on these different, right. having that exactly. toasted flavor. Now, is this a dish that's in the restaurant? That it is. Okay, We're cool. serving this right now in the restaurant. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice to this to give it a little more acidity. Do, Just to Chihuly, balance it. Does Chihuly come to your restaurant a lot? Dale does come to the restaurant quite a bit, actually. He's, right. he's, a, he's a fun character. Yeah. You know, people flock. <laughs> when he walks in the door, though. So it's just like... That looks beautiful. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. And then I'm going to add the butter to it. Okay. And usually oh. with... Uh, usually with gambas, you get a sauce that uh, is a, uh, an emulsified sauce. Mm -hmm. with, my, with the gambas that we're doing at the restaurant, we actually want to break the butter. 
so that it separates. Why? So you have that. It's just uh, a color thing for me. Okay. So you have this contrast between the uh, the butter fat and the oil from the butter. So we can probably these guys look like they're pretty well done. You can yeah. turn the burner off those there. Beautiful. Okay. Get those on the plate. So then you'll just cook this on high heat until the butter separates. Until the butter separates. Once the butter separates, mm. you're ready to We're done. Work. Okay. So we'll turn these guys over, get them completely covered in sauce. And this isn't overcooking the shrimp, the tiger shrimp? Nope, not as right now. Because we're done right now. Wow. So you could cook the shrimp and then wait to add the butter until all your bread is ready right. and then add the butter. Exactly. Okay. And if you're doing this on the grill, you could do the sauce. You could put the prawns right on the grill. Grill the prawns, oh, okay. put the sauce so on the side. We need to have a look at that. Got it. Put Take the look sauce at that. on the side, and then uh, build it all, and then pour the sauce Just right over top. Sweet. You want to see That'd that? Look at, look at that. There you go, people. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so, great. Do this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see how it's separated? Uh-huh. Notice how it gets so quiet here in the kitchen. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> wow. Ooh. Smell it. You can smell it. It smells better when everybody's quiet. There we go. So this we got is a the spoon. next course. Yeah, here's a sauce spoon there. There we go. And then we can just start saucing this right over top. Looks great. Yum. Smells good. The next course, Mark. You want, yeah. <laughs> you want to make sure you get all of that sauce on there. Of course. What else would you do with it? Because that bread is just going to soak away. it all up. Yeah. And then finish it off, we got a little fresh parsley here. Just for a oh, little beautiful. presentation. Yeah. Very nice. There you go. I can see how you're making these all day down and, at Seattle Center. You know what? They fly out of the restaurant. Yeah, I can I see. So, you know, it, and nice. it's a lot of fun. I mean, we take a lot of inspiration. As you can see, this is a very colorful dish. Mm -hmm. So we're taking a lot of inspiration from the art around us also. Sure. So it, you deal elegant. with colors and contrasting colors are a big deal. So again, so. when you're down at Seattle Center with the Chihuly Garden and Glass, the new exhibit, which is just an attraction year That's round, and stop by the Collections Cafe here and have a little... Gambus you want to here. Try it? You know, can we eat this now? Can we have a little bite? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Take so would you would you pick it up like a little sandwich, or would you, you cut could, it apart? You could, or you cut it apart. Or you want to be careful oh. because the tails are still on there. I'd grab a prawn and then a bite of of, uh, of okay, the bread. Here, let's do this. May I? Go ahead. Yep. You may. Okay. Here. I'm gonna do it right here. Okay. Here we go. So you're gonna pick up the bread. Okay. One for you, Ivan. All right. Pick up the prawn. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You've been working hard, chef. <laughs> Absolutely. Got it. Put that mm. bread up on top. Sweet. And I'm ready for a barbecue. Ready for this gray. Okay. Mm. Oh, man. That's sauce awesome, the bread with the shrimp. Mm. See that face? That's happy. <laughs> That's like, I'm going to give me a hit. I know my <laughs> wife's watching. I know what you're making tonight. <laughs> You'll mm. want to make this a lot. Okay. So you, you get that heat? Yeah, I love the it's heat. Nice. It's great. Thank nice. you. Another great treasure. Another Thank wonderful recipe. Much. Thank you, Ivan, That's for coming on in. Oh boy, 1-800-443-1999 for this Beautiful. recipe for supporting public television and online kcts9.org. Oh, this is great. We're having so much cool. fun with these recipes. Thanks, yeah. 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 yeah, it's been fun. We'll come visit. Mm -hmm. yeah.